At its height, ISIS controlled a stretch of territory that extended from western Syria all the way to the outskirts of Baghdad. But just last month, a coalition of U.S.-backed Kurdish and Arab forces brought an end to its so-called caliphate. The death knell came during the Battle of Baghuz in eastern Syria, the last major ISIS stronghold. Now the caliphate may have been destroyed, but ISIS is not defeated. Just back in February, the Pentagon issued a report saying that ISIS fighters could regroup within six months to a year after the Americans pull their troops out of the country. According to the report, ISIS remains a potent force of battle-hardened and well-disciplined fighters that could likely resurge in Syria absent continued counterterrorism pressure. So pulling troops out is something they would not recommend. And in fact, a lot of those fighters fled to ungoverned spaces and other pockets in the north and in the west they say are hiding out until they can regroup. Apparently, some 2,000 ISIS militants today remain in Syria. U.S. Central Command thinks ISIS fighters will continue to conduct opportunistic attacks. And let's face it, if you want to get rid of ISIS as a concept, it's very hard to bomb them into submission.